Welcome to Whole CEO with Lisa G. I'm the best-selling author of The Boss Weight Loss. I'm bringing you the top tips to be unstoppable. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to actually pull up a chair with today's top experts in mindset, weight loss, business, and more. Learn our top tips so that you can have more energy, be fit and resilient, feel unstoppable, unshakable, and unbreakable. I'm so excited to welcome to the podcast a dear friend of mine. She's a triple board certification, certified, wait, I'll start all over. I'm so glad and excited to welcome a dear friend. She's a triple board certified functional medicine nutritionist whose mission is to help women worldwide restore their health, restore their hope and hair loss naturally so they look and feel their best. With more than 10 years of experience and success stories, she's known to skillfully investigate, discover, and communicate root cause resolutions to revitalize hair and naturally regrow hair. I know everybody wants that. I know when we first met, you were at Warner Brothers for five years and promoted a lot within there. And then we became fast friends and then um, skied together. And I know you've had your own struggles with hair loss and digestive issues and fatigue and autoimmunity. And that drove you to find answers and help others. So welcome to the podcast, my friend, Julie Olson. Hi, Lisa G. So good to be here. Oh, my God. Wow. We have been friends a long time, and it's really exciting to jump in here and have this conversation. Well, I want to talk to you about how you got where you are. So we'll we'll have a conversation first. But yeah, I'm excited that we've come full circle to podcasting and entrepreneurship from where we were like, I don't know. Was that like 20 years ago when I met you? It was, it was, but you know, I point out the fact that we became fast friends because everyone else in our circle was not working and, and uh, yeah, we had goals and motivation and drive and not so much the other girls. In fact, a couple of them are not even around anymore. I don't know if you know that. That is so get, sad to hear. Well, they got caught up in the whole party scene and drugs and. Oh gosh. That's yeah. Horrible. That's not the right direction. Well, that's why I actually wanted to talk to you because I started this podcast during the pandemic because it was hard for me and I felt stuck and it ended up being good for me, but I wanted to help other people become unstoppable. And I know with the drive you have, the motivation you have and this triple board certification, you put yourself back in school after having a successful career. How can you help our audience have more drive and goals? Well, I would say that use something that is not so good as a catalyst. And let me tell you quickly what my catalyst was. Well, I was working at Warner Brothers, as you know, in the lot in Burbank. I was promoted three times and I was, I left there as a senior media research analyst, but I got a call that my mother had stage three breast cancer and she's going into emergency surgery the next day. So for your, for your audience, I use that to actually, I mean, that's why I lost my hair. When I moved back to Denver to support her, I, was trying to figure out why she got so sick. And I worked in television there as a research analyst. But as I was, you know, researching that and the stress and, and then I finally slowed down because like we were talking about, we were living, a, I was at least living a really fast lifestyle out there. And when I finally slowed down, I realized I was putting blinders on my own health. So yeah, I had a dream job. I had a great career, but I quit it all. And I went back to school to study nutrition and it's the best thing I ever did. I am. Yeah. I helped so many people and I reversed my hair loss naturally. And so now I'm on a mission. I just, um, saw so many other women struggling with hair loss and being told what I was told when I went to different doctors, they basically just dismissed me and 
they're like, well, we don't really know what to do about it. And you can get on some lifelong medications or you can uh, do laser, you can do hair transplants, but that just didn't resonate with me. And so I went back to the drawing board. Again, this is another way to be driven. And I didn't take no as an answer. I, I, you know, not only went back to school, but I fixed my, the health of my body, which was affecting my hair. And I regrew my hair naturally. Wow. Well, you've always had the best hair so that I can see that it works. It's your testament to what you're doing. And I think the thing to unpack in there is the passion and the drive that you felt there was a need. And obviously all caretakers health suffers. I don't know if you guys know that, but I've seen this happen multiple times when you're caring for someone else, the extent of your own health falling apart happens time and time again. So you realized the impetus and you took action. So do you think it's important for others to find something that they're that passionate about? Absolutely. And and like you said, taking care of others is not where you're going to benefit anyone. Even in an, in an airplane, they say, you know, put on your, your mask first before your children. Yeah. And you can't help others if you're not healthy or happy yourself. It just doesn't, <laughs> doesn't work so well. Um, so, and I got off on a tangent. What else, what were you asking me? And also about the passion, like how you found yeah. something that you were passionate about. Um, I think just because I realized that, you know, health is from the inside out. And I, once I started learning about nutrition and, and functional medicine, I realized how powerful it was and how much better I felt. And then when I started seeing clients and working in the industry, I it would just opened up a whole new world. And and now that I've niched down into this this hair loss, I'm blowing it open. I mean, this summit is averaging um, more in sales than any summit it's wow. above average because people need to hear this. It's been an issue that's in the closet, not so much for men, but for women, um, they are afraid to talk about it. They can cover it up with extensions and what have you. And it's just an, usually not always, uh, um, it is an imbalance in the body. And so I just want everyone to have that opportunity before doing something radical and very, expensive that doesn't always work i mean hair transplants 43 percent of them don't even work wow well I, uh, you know yeah i think you were passionate about it and you found the answer and because you had the answer you were passionate to share your message and help more people yes yeah and i didn't help many people at warner brothers <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, we all start somewhere and, and reinvent ourselves. Like the, the good thing about the pandemic, it was really hard for me. And the upside of it is it just forced me into being unstoppable, realizing how resilient I am, realizing how gritty I am, and that I had messages to share and that it's selfish to not put myself out there and help other people. And that what I was doing was in the dinosaur ages, I needed to pivot and do something that allowed me more freedom, allowed me to have my life back and finally focus on my personal life too, instead of like always trying to build something, build something, build something and at the sake of my own health and happiness. So I think there's a lot of good that came from the pandemic. And I know you also are very competitive when it comes to sports and skiing. And how does that help people? How can it help our audience, their competitive sports, apply that to business, being competitive? Uh, it's the same mindset, whether you're in a ski race or a tennis tournament, it's the same mindset. I, I mean, I just, I stop and I go, oh, I got yeah, my like, concentrate, concentrate. You, you, you just almost set back and put yourself into that particular mindset. Um, and then just being, you know, passionate about it and having the drive to be the very best whatever I do, I think you're the same. You you just go all out. Once you decide you want to do something, you're the same as me. You just do it until you're number one. 
you yeah. get to, you know, work night and day, whatever it takes, because Absolutely. you're so passionate and driven that, and also it's being curious and courageous as well. Yeah. Do you want to address that? Well, I think that's why I've been successful through the years is I also have a curiosity and question things. I just am able to think outside the box by, by asking why and how, instead of just plowing through like everyone else does. Yeah. I think asking good questions leads to good answers and being driven because how you do one thing is how you do everything. So if you can be good at skiing, you can be good at tennis, you took the same drive and you put it into getting triple board certified and you just keep driving and driving to the next thing and this very successful summit. So what is a last thing you want to leave our audience with about how they can find that passion, that drive, that competition and just go for it and be unstoppable? Don't let anyone tell you no, because when you set your mind to it, you can do it. That is so encouraging. And tell me about your summit and where people can find you and all that good stuff. Oh, well, the summit is um, called Healthy Body, Healthy Hair, The Truth About Hair Loss. And I've got about 48 different practitioners I interview who are speaking. They speak on everything from gut health to hormones, toxic overload, uh, the COVID shed, stress-induced hair loss. Um, I've heard about that. Yeah. Losing yeah. Because there's even, a yeah. A mass cell activation is highly associated with hair loss. People don't realize that lymph, uh, liver health, even incorrect weight loss, Lisa can result in hair thinning. Oh yeah. I've seen that incorrect. Yeah. Thing they don't eat. <laughs> right. Right. And then their thyroid gets messed up and yeah. Um, there's, Right. There's over 50 causes of hair loss. I put it into four functional root causes, but you can find out all that and more. We also have a celebrity psychiatrist and a, a chef and it's free for the week of June 12th through the 18th on Basically, though, it, it's taking out all the confusion and misinformation, deceptive claims and so forth of people with alopecia or hair thinning, whatever you want to call it. Um, they don't have to go through what I went through so that they have the guidance, support and hope. And they don't waste a lot of time, money and energy before finally getting to the root cause of what is going on. I mean it really is going to provide resources and action steps. So they can find that by going to my website or they can, you could put it in the, maybe in the show notes, but my and website is website. yeah. Julieolson.com. Okay. That's easy. We'll put it in, in the show notes. I just wanted to tell you guys where to find Julie. And um, are you working online now too? If people want to come to you and, figure out some of these gut health, digestion health, hair loss type of things. Yes, yes. I have a clinic, but I do a lot of work online, work with people all over the world. Yeah. And you can get a free consultation. At, it's Julie Olson, O-L-S-O-N.com. Well, thanks, Julie, for being a great guest on Whole CEO with Lisa G. Thank you, Lisa. It's so good to be here. Thanks for coming to Whole CEO with Lisa G. After over 20 years helping people lose weight and get fit, I'm so excited to announce that I found the missing link with my coaching. Message me if you want to learn how to look better, feel better, and go faster with a master. Lisa G at lisagfit.com.